so i'm just gonna go through and get some stuff and i will show you guys when i get home um i'm just trying to talk quiet because it's really quiet in here right now but um so i will show you some of the stuff that i'm getting but then i also will share with you when i get home so you guys can see what i got but um so like right now everything is valentine-ish and so I'm getting some ideas of what my kids can do for Valentine's Day because we want to have a Valentine's Day party. So I might be able to find some stuff that they can do while do their little party, but they have a lot of cute stuff here. So I'll show you what I'm getting. Okay, so far I got this. I'm thinking that the kids can kind of paint these little hearts and stuff like that. So we'll do that. They have everything like oh, Valentine's and stuff right now. So I have a lot of this I'm just trying to look over and see what I can get we we're just talking about having Apple and try um, pop rocks so this would be fun so I'll get a couple of these for the kids My daughter's birthday is the next two days, so I need to find her a card. Yeah. Depending on when I get this video out for you guys, well, let me just see. Look for a birthday card. Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here, I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul today. I told you in one of my other videos, I think it was a grocery haul video, that I was gonna do a family dollar haul. I did one, I think last year, I think it was like a fall one or a winter one, I don't remember. It was like one of my kind of first videos that I put out there, I did a Dollar Tree haul. Um, but this one is kind of fun and kind of funny, I guess. Um, there's some stuff that we got that are just not like big enough for our family, but I thought they were cute and the kids will, kids will like it. So I got a lot of like activity stuff and with Valentine's coming up, I got some stuff for Valentine's Day and then just stuff for the house that uh, I could use and see if they work and I will tell you what I will be using them for. And I kind of do that with my grocery haul too. I like to tell you guys why I bought it and what I'm using it. So, um, but some of the stuff here is like a lot of activities and different things. Now, last year when I did homeschooling for Nash and Lachlan, I usually just like lived at Family Dollar because I would always go and get their workbooks there. They just, uh, they would work through them and then I would just keep going and they were only a dollar. So at that time they were in preschool and now they're in kindergarten. So I don't do it as much, but they did have things there that I usually would get at Walmart and cost way more. So I found them there and I think they're gonna have fun with them. These are things that I can just pull out at any time and they can have fun with them and play with them and stuff like that. But I have a lot of odds and ends and different things um, for them to play with. So a lot of the stuff that I got is um, for like Valentine's Day or homeschooling or things for the house. So, oh, and my videos. I got some like things for air fryer video or whatever. So 
I'm gonna show you guys what I got and let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this video, if you guys like stuff like this. I know a lot of you guys like my grocery haul ones and I will be doing another one of them soon. I just wanted to share with you guys this little haul. I had fun last night uh, just being there, looking around, the kids had youth groups, so I was able to just go by myself and look and see what they all had. I usually go, and if I do go, I usually get like our um, tablecloth stuff for like birthdays and holidays. Uh, they always have like a good supply of stuff there. So um, I was able to look at other stuff last night. So hopefully you guys like this and I'll just uh, turn you guys around and show you what I all got. Okay, I think I'm gonna start over here first. One of the things that I saw when I first got there was the valentine stuff they have like a whole section full of valentine stuff um there are 16 heart i could use them as like a placemat or something like that and then i got some finger paint for them i figured on valentine's day when we have like our little celebration uh they can paint these hearts and then they can like just keep them at their place or whatever that can be their little placemat and then I got them some paintbrushes I always try to get paintbrushes whenever I can like at Walmart but they always are like way more than what I want to spend now I don't know quality wise how these are going to be but we'll see we'll try them out um and then Evelyn is into Paw Patrol right now if you guys saw my what I got my kids for Christmas, you would see that she's really into Paw Patrol. So I thought this would be fun for her to do. And it's a full size coloring book and activity book for only a dollar. So that is super fun for her. I got this book. Gage has been into drawing lately. So anytime they are into that, I try to get them like a little book that they can have of their own and uh draw in and stuff like that uh if gage wants me to get a better quality one i would probably go to like hobby lobby but this one for right now is okay uh for him to use all right so my kids are really into like the mandalorian star wars and different things they watch the movies and i saw this there and inside there they have like different scenes inside here and activities so like they have this in there and then word search and then they also have their stickers so they can take the stickers and then put them in the scenes the way they want to or color them so a lot of times too they can work on these at night time while they're in bed if they don't fall asleep right away so they have stuff for them to do and then this is the same thing. So there's a bunch of scenes and stickers that they can put in there. So I got four of them and we can kind of rip out some pages and each child can pick a scene and they can color them or uh, work on them. So if they really like them, I can probably go back and get these. Uh, they never had these there before. So I was kind of excited to find them. Okay, one of the other things that we always get at Walmart are these funny faces and I got uh, two different designs uh, for a dollar that's pretty good compared to at Walmart they are like five to six dollars for a book so they get to take the stickers right here and then they can make funny faces and then color in the pictures so they liked doing that once before when we got these so I got that one and then we got the funny face um, like goofy ones so they can do that and then the stickers are okay so they have that so i got three books and i can always get uh more of them also now i found this there is the presidents of the united states so on here they have up to trump so i'm really surprised that they had like a more up-to-date one which is kind of cool uh so they have this in there and we'll be able to sit and talk over that on a homeschool day so that was pretty cool find there because i don't know he's looking the book section for like certain like this area for books for homeschool stuff i usually look at the homeschool or like the book area for extra fun stuff but i found that there i thought that was pretty neat 
Okay, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow, so I got her a birthday card there. I don't usually get cards there, but I know other people that do. I never think to even go there and get one, uh, but I thought that was pretty cute for her. Okay, so I'm gonna go over like some of the stuff that I found like kitchen wise and go over that. So the stuff that I usually use in the kitchen are from Walmart. I just buy like a bulk pack of washcloths and hand towels, but there they had black and gray and that's kind of what I want our theme to be in the kitchen instead of the colors that we have now. So eventually our chairs and stuff will have like a black um, background and stuff and then some of the kitchen is going to be painted gray so I found them there uh, these are just hand towels and then I got let's see there's four micro washcloths microfiber so I got four there uh, another four another four and another four we go through washcloths like crazy uh, so I'm hoping the microfiber ones will work and these being from the dollar store I'm not sure how they're gonna work so we'll give it a try and see if we like it all right so over by my kitchen sink I always put like our hand soaps or yeah our hand soaps dish soap and then like our cleaners on a mat just because they always get the countertop wet so I use one of these dish drying mats instead of putting my dishes on it so I open this up sometimes I've cut it in smaller pieces just so it can fit really nice where I put this. And then, so I like this idea. And if these work really good from the dollar store, I'll just go get a couple and then I can change them out often enough when they get wet. So I didn't even know that they had these there. I usually got mine from Walmart, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, if they don't work, then then I won't be getting them. So I'm hoping that'll, that'll work out. So, all right, so that's that. Um, I found these little coloring uh, sketch pads there. I got, let's see, this one, Evelyn, Nash, Lachlan, and Declan. Like if we go places or something, they can pull this out and color on them or at nighttime, they can color on them at bedtime or during the day if they're bored or whatever, they can take these out. Now quality wise, I'm not sure how long they'll last, but uh, just for the meantime, I always like getting some things that they can play with. So, add some of them. And some of my other kids kind of are outgrowing some of the little kids' stuff. So, that's why I didn't get any more. Um, I have a shoe eraser. I got one of these for Gage at Christmas time. And I wanted to try one out on my shoes. So, I'm assuming, I think, if you get these wet you can clean the bottom or the sides of your shoes and they'll get the white part clean. So I just wanna try that out. Um, where we, our driveway and stuff is gravel, so our shoes kinda always get dirty from being out there. So I wanna try this out. All right, so I found the Paw Patrol, uh, let's see, I got the Paw Patrol Valentine's. Uh, I thought that would be fun for Evelyn, so when we, put our tablecloth down and everything and everybody has like a placemat. Uh, I will be passing out some Valentines for them. And then I got a package of Valentine Warheads. Most of my kids like sour stuff, so that'll be fun for them. So I got that. And I did get a bunch of other like Valentine things for decorating that day, but I found this bowl there and we can be using that for something, maybe popcorn or some other kind of treat we can use so that was kind of cute and then um, I found this princess bell puzzle uh, if you guys saw Evelyn's bedroom you know that we are collecting bell stuff or Beauty and the Beast stuff but I will probably save it for her for later and then you guys also if you see in her bedroom the other side of her bedroom is Batman uh, and that will be painted one day but I got this for the boys to to put that together so I thought that was kind of cool um Evelyn has been wanting me to paint her nails lately so I got her a pink pa 
polish. I've been needing some more nail files, so I'm gonna try these out. I don't know the quality and how good they work, but we'll give them a try. I also found this lip oil. I've been liking lip gloss and not always using lipstick because my lips have been dry because of it being winter. Just to try and see if I'm going to like it. Sometimes things have like different flavors and stuff and I don't really like that. I give this so. to try and see if I like it. I got a package of paint brushes because I still need to finish Gage and Eli's painting in their bedroom so i needed some more of them and then i found these little pens i'll pass these out to the kids and then also for my grand girls i'm going to be putting something together for them for valentine's day so i will add that to theirs i'll probably put some valentines and stuff in there too all right i found this for evelyn and if she likes some maybe i'll go get some more but this can be her own little spoon and fork set I found some little like kitchen utensils for my air fryer. I found a knife. I'm always using like my own stuff when it comes to my air fryer videos just because I don't want everything ruined uh, before I get to use them. So I found all these gray ones there. I thought that was so cute and they're just so little and perfect for my air fryer videos. I love them. These are really convenient too for pulling things out of the air fryer. I'm not sure what I'll use everything else for, but we will give that a try. I thought that was cool. Maybe I'll go back and get some more too. All right, another thing that I found that was kind of cool, when you use your air fryer, you are able to use different containers. I do have an accessory kit to go with my air fryer, but I found four of these little like foil um, bowls. So I'm not sure if they all have covers. Oh yeah, they do. So they all have covers and I have a scrambled egg video for my air fryer and it was nice to have like a cover on it so that at first when you're cooking them the eggs don't fly all over so i'm gonna give it a try again using one of these this is a perfect size to fit in my air fryer so i thought that was kind of neat i never seen any tiny ones like this at walmart so i'm hoping that these will work and then a lot of times when i do my air fryer videos i just go to either hobby lobby or the dollar store and i pick up a plate so that i can uh, plate up the food on uh, like a decorative plate and dollar store always has nice uh, plates and stuff there so I got two more of them I don't have a black one so and I don't have a see-through one so I thought that would be nice to use whenever I do some of the dishes all right I got let's see 13 bags of regular size well gallon size storage bags and then I also got 10 bags but these are freezer ones so we'll just see if we like them and see if the quality of them are going to be good or not too all right so i found some tooth toothbrushes there i never thought to go there and even look uh evelyn i found a three pack so i'm sure she's gonna like these and then i thought for nash and lachlan and Hudson, Miles, and Declan can pick from here. And Gage and Eli have uh, really nice toothbrushes, so they really don't need one right now. And then I found this toothpaste there. It is fluoride-free, sensitive care. So with my teeth, I try to always try to find something good to use. I still will use other kinds, but I always have issues with my teeth, and I'm always trying to... Um, find different things that will work. So I don't know, I don't even know what this is gonna taste like, but we'll see if I like it or not. All right, so on to like, the, uh, oh, hold on one second. Let me just grab this real quick. So I have a pack of four. I think there's a pack of four. Oh no, this is a pack of two uh, take-alongs. And a lot of times I don't do so many leftover dishes. We don't always end up eating them. So I just give them to the chickens anyways. And I try to make smaller batches and then I don't have a lot of leftovers anyways. So we make enough. I, if I was better, I would make more and freeze more, but I'm not at that stage right now to do that. So eventually I'll end up doing that. But I just got some of these. And then my kids 
like these, if you guys saw in my last grocery haul, I got some from Walmart. They were just a little bit different design, but I always go to the dollar store and get these. And I haven't gotten them in a while, but that's usually where I go if I end up buying these. Uh, Evelyn just learned about them too, and she really likes them. So I got four of them. So I got some of these pizza crusts. So I got two, four, six, eight, two come in a package. And I saw on something that this lady used regular tortillas and then just made pizzas out of them. But these are thin enough that we can uh, use. It also says you can use it on the grill. So maybe Gage can do something like that in the summer. I got that. And then I ended up getting two calculators. We have a couple calculators in the house, but the kid, like Evelyn or whatever, end up taking them and using them for other things or just play with them. So I got two new ones that we can just kind of put off to the side somewhere and they can't get to them. But then the kids have something um, to be able to use. And I only let usually the older kids use calculators. I don't always yet let the little ones or ones that still are learning like you know, their multiplication and stuff. I try to just let the older ones use them. And then I have these gummy blocks. I thought that would be fun to do on Valentine's Day. They are able to like snap them together and create different things. So I maybe we could have like a Valentine, uh, like I'll probably go back and get more, but maybe they can do like a competition on who builds the best uh, Lego thing out of these gummy blocks. So that would be kind of fun. And I got some Sour Patch hearts for Valentine's Day. So I have eight of them. And then I also have some Pop Rocks. I thought this was funny because we were just talking about it. My son sent me a picture of this little girl trying Pop Rocks. And I was like, oh, that'd be perfect for Evelyn. So I have these for Valentine's Day. And then I needed hangers because... I was hanging up my clothes the other day and I noticed that I didn't have enough. So I just got one package of them. Now, we go through a lot of chips in our house. If you guys see it in our grocery haul, you'll see it always pretty much see chips. Uh, Gage was telling me we needed some more of these and I wanna see if he's going to like these. Uh, my kids are kind of pretty picky when it comes to chips. So we will see if we like these. And if they do, then I can get some more of these. I got two. Oops. All right, so I got two bags of them. And then we always usually get like a mild cheese and a jalapeno. And we're gonna give these a try and see if we like them. Uh, I think they're usually like $2.50 or $3 at Walmart. So if these are only a dollar and they taste good, then we'll probably go that, you know, like go that route. I'm bringing it over here quick. So I got these, these are just like regular Dorito um, cheese tortillas, so we'll, these are just regular chips with like kind of like a natural cheese Dorito or whatever. We'll give that a try and see if we like it. Um, I thought these were really cute. This is what I was kind of saying that's really funny is these are like little miniature cereal bags and this would never feed like our whole family. That's why I thought it was really cute, but I had to get it because I wanted to show Declan. He's usually the one that likes Lucky Chimes and I think he'll like that. And then we always go through honey bunches of oats and this is like the tiniest box ever. This will probably be like my husband's cereal, like for one night. It's like super, super tiny. I thought it was so cute. All right, and I got some pizza sauce for the pizza rat or the pizza crust. So we'll try that out. I also got some Parmesan cheese. We'll try that. I had two cans of corn. I didn't want to get a lot just in case we don't like them. So we'll try that out first. I love uh, green olives, black olives. I love olives. Sometimes I just like go in the fridge and just eat a couple. So I wanted to try them out. We are into hot sauce. So this was, we have sriracha. We have, um, what's the other one? Miles, what's the other hot sauce? Huh? Okay, so we have sriracha, red hot, and then this hot sauce. So we'll see if we like this. Um, a couple of us like using it. So this one says medium heat, so it's not even that hot. So we'll see, we'll see if we like it. I have some oregano, 
see, uh, leaves crushed. Uh, we'll try that. Um, poultry seasoning, garlic powder, steakhouse seasoning. I wanna maybe do like steak in the air fryer one night, so I wanna try that. Now, I thought this would be kinda cool to do. I have two salts and two peppers, and these are the grinding kind. So on our table, we have two different sections. So one for the end, with how big our table is, I have like two different sections. So uh, one side of the table would get a set and then the other side would get another set. Usually we use like Himalayan salt, but I just wanted the kids to try, to try this or whatever. Oh, it says natural, I'm not sure what is I don't know I don't know what this one is I'll have to look a little bit closer but anyways I thought that would be fun for the kids and then this was another thing that's really kind of funny this is so like mini that we could have this in like I don't know 10 15 minutes or so but this is the kind that we like so I wanted to get one of them and try it out so we'll see if we like a lot of this stuff and if we do that'll save us some money so hopefully um they like it but i think that's it for my little dollar tree haul so that's pretty much everything now piled all up so now i get to like put it away and figure out where i'm gonna put everything and put some stuff away in my bedroom Okay, so now I'm going to probably put a lot of this stuff away and I put most of like the stuff that we're not gonna use right away in my bedroom because then my kids can't get to it or they know that they can't have it. And some of the other stuff we'll just like probably just leave out and then we'll just give it a try or something at like snack time or whatever. But some of like the toothbrushes and stuff, all the kids need to like change out their toothbrush and I can do that and then the washcloths and stuff maybe I'll end up washing first just because I've noticed that sometimes if you don't wash your towels and washcloths before you use them they just don't work very well when you add soap and water so I don't know I don't know if you guys ever experienced that but it seems like every time that I get like new stuff like that it just doesn't work that well and I know I've gotten towels from there before and they haven't worked very well with the microfiber so but the towels that I got are not microfiber so I don't know we'll we'll see we'll just play around with it but I do like going there for holidays and a lot of like activities and our table stuff I very rarely will go to Walmart and get that for parties but for like Evelyn's birthday coming up, I did have to order just because I couldn't get what I wanted for the theme for her birthday. I always try to get something that they enjoy for their birthday and a lot of times you can find a lot at the dollar store. So I like going there. I don't try to get a lot of the toys from there because they end up just falling apart right away anyways and that is just a complete waste of money. I don't mind getting a lot of like odds and ends there because I can use some of that stuff and just have fun with it with the kids or would just pull out things and you know, kind of go from there. Hopefully you guys liked today's video. I'm happy that I was able to do this because it was pretty fun to find everything that I wanted to get, but. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video and you liked that little uh, Dollar Tree haul. If you guys want me to do any more, just let me know if you guys want me to do a different store or something like that, I can do that also. Uh, we have a lot of birthdays and stuff coming up pretty soon, so we'll be doing a lot of birthday hauls and different things like that. But that was really fun. So stay tuned because we have birthdays and Valentine's and all that coming up pretty soon. But hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.